Hello, medical student Heather. Did you see my first patient this morning? Yes. Mrs. Hamilton was very pleasant. She is here today for vaginal bleeding. Oh, Mrs. Hamilton. She is a new patient. Tell me what you found. Well, Mrs. Hamilton is a 60-year-old nilogravid Hispanic female. She complains of intermittent vaginal bleeding for the past four months. Menopause occurred nine years ago. All of her pap smears have been normal. Her last one was two years ago. I see. Tell me, does she have any other medical problems? Um, I believe she has hypertension, controlled with nifedipine. How were her vital signs today? Let me see. Her temperature is 98.8 degrees Fahrenheit. Her pulse is 84 beats per minute. And her blood pressure is 138 over 86. Very good. Those are normal vital signs. Did you and Nurse Julie do a physical exam? Yes. We performed a speculum exam. There was a small amount of blood at the cervical OS. Otherwise, the exam was normal. That was a great presentation. Now, what would you do next? I will give you some choices. Would you like to re-examine her in six months? Would you like to perform a colposcopy? Would you start her on estrogen therapy? Would you like to perform an ablation of the endometrium? Or, would you like to take a sample of her endometrium? I think the best first step would be to take a sample of the endometrium. Impressive, medical student Heather. It is important to first rule out endometrial cancer in anyone with postmenopausal bleeding. This is done with an endometrial biopsy. Endometrial cancer is a dangerous condition, so you want to rule it out before proceeding with any other treatments. That is a great teaching point. Thank you for all of your guidance and wisdom. You are most welcome. Let's go see Mrs. Hamilton and perform the endometrial biopsy.